It is my absolute pleasure to uh, to meet both of you. Wow, what a what a terrific show you put together, Ramla. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Nice meeting you. <laughs> yes. Are you, uh, Ramla, are you interested in the law or is it something that you just was thinking about, was thinking about, there's great English, uh, we're thinking about and, uh, and and kind of created a show around it? Um, no, you know, I actually, I don't know anything about the law. I, the only thing I know, my mom was a court reporter. Oh. Uh, and so, uh, but, you know, I, she wanted me to go to law school, but I guess this is a good um second thing that I did. Um, uh, but yeah, no, Sean Hawley, who was the inspiration um, behind the series, met with Larry Wilmore and Carrie Washington, and they wanted to do a show, a legal show based on her. And uh, then, you know, I started developing it. Um, Sean, uh, such, her legal mind is incredible. The way she deals with her clients, how she, you know, that, how she relates and how she sees, sees the law is very much like Jax's character. But um, personally, Sean is very different <laughs> and, and not as messy. And, and, and uh, you know, and so I added all those kind of elements to create the drama and the sexiness and the soap. Um, and, you know, I was very blessed to have Emmy Yatsi uh, embody that role so beautifully. Emma Yahtzee is one of the most interesting names I think I've ever heard in my life. Uh, is there a specific meaning to it? It's, it's my dad named me. My dad's from Panama and my mom is from Ohio. And there's this tale of this princess in Panama. So he took that name with my grandmother's name and made Emma Yahtzee. Oh, it's such a beautiful name. And, and Thank you. You are a hell of an actress. I, I'll tell you, I mean, I'm watching... Uh, the episodes that they sent me to watch, and I am just white knuckled, and it's it's so wow. involving. Thank you so much. I mean, Ramla created this character, you know, that takes us all on this journey. It's it's so easy to kind of get enthralled in, into Jax's world and what's going on. So that's kudos to Ramla for that. Oh, thank well, you. <laughs> what what attracts you to Jax as a character, though? You know, all of her, all of her mess, for lack of a better word. You know what I mean? Um, it's it's so it's so much fun to be able to see this woman who is very powerful, who's very successful. You know, she's a partner at this firm. You know, she's put in her work. She's good at her job. Um, she she is a mother. You know, she has um, a, a, a marriage. Um, you know, it's, it's so much fun to be able to see a woman juggling all these things. But then you see the cracks. And you see the little, the, the, the blind spots and the spaces where maybe she's, she's kind of dropping things, you know, mm -hmm. because that's life. That's what we all experience. And, and we get a chance to go on that journey with Jax and see what happens as a result of that, to see what happens when she, she hits this wall and she's forced to face some of the things that are now falling through the cracks. Uh, Ramla, it must be a joy to, to, you know, keep your association with Kerry Washington. I mean, after scandal and, uh, what a what a brilliant show that is. And you brought that brilliance to Reasonable Doubt. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I worked, this is my third project with Carrie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like, you know, I was a, a young writer, staff writer on Scandal. And uh, it was Carrie's first time in the number one chair. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like we kind of learned <laughs> TV, you know, a little bit together. And it was, um, it was great. And, and it's like 10 years in the making. Um, and, you know, Carrie directed the pilot and just brought such a great energy and vision uh, to the first episode. So I was very grateful for that. Um, and I also just, you know, I just, I'm so happy that I was able to be on a show that lasted seven seasons. I yeah. really grow as a writer and learn so much, um, you know, especially with the writers on Scandal. I mean, just really incredible writers on that show that I learned so much from. And I'm very, uh, very grateful to have had that experience and then to continue it into Little Fires with Liz Tigelar and all those writers. Um, and so I am. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like I I had a vision and I was kind of really well equipped to carry that out based on my experience. Emma Yahtzee, I'm going to give you just in our final seconds. Is it hard learning all the legalese and making that sound like it's just second nature? Um, no, because when you have good writing, it's so easy to memorize lines and things like that. It, it, it really makes a difference. You know, it's when it's not good. That's when it's like, I can't quite remember this line. So no. <laughs> oh, well, thank you guys so much. What a great show. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just praying that audiences will, will fall in love with it like I did, but we're going to give it a good send off. We're going to oh, let people you. know about it. 
Thank you, Tony. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you guys have a wonderful Bye. day. Bye. You too. You